Tommy, it was obviously a mixed bank holiday. We got a great win against Wildstone on the Saturday, but lost to Eastleigh on the Monday. So how, how's training been this week ahead of Chesterfield this weekend? Well, firstly, we had to give the lads a little bit of a, a rest um, so they could be charged with their own batteries. A lot of them boys played probably in excess of 200 minutes um, over the two days. Um, so that, that was a big part of our plan before, in it, whether it was win, lose or draw, we knew we'd have to give the bulk of the team and squad, sorry, uh, some, some re recharge time. Uh, that, was, that was good and you know, we returned to train on, on Thursday, bright and breezy. I thought that the session was really, really um, sharp and I was really pleased with what I saw. So yeah, we move on to the next game, which is Chesterfield and it's at the EBV, so we, we look forward to it. The challenges in this division probably don't get much harder this season as Chesterfield, a team heavily tipped to do well. But, you know, at, at, with, in front of our fans at the EBB stadium, you know, we can definitely give them a game, can't we? Well, undoubtedly. I don't think there's not, no game we've played so far this season. We've not been in it to win it. And, and we'll start on the same, you know, starting line as they are and be nil nil at the beginning. We'll try and add to our scoreline and try and keep theirs down. So we, we, we've had a good chat on, after every game with with the group and as a staff, you know, and I think we're we're very close to being a very very good side ourselves. But but we've got to be a little bit more consistent, and our messages don't change, our delivery doesn't change as a staff, and I just want to want to see a little bit more consistency throughout the group. You've mentioned obviously before the, the about the minutes that the players have had. Have we picked up any knocks over that over that weekend? Well, obviously Harry Gandorn, fortunately, looks like it's it's quite a, a lot of damage being done to his hamstring. Again, it's a bit of an innocuous challenge, but it's. It doesn't look too good. Um, Stuart is imminently going to be um, going into for a bit of surgery on his knee. Um, but again, we've had good news in terms of the uh, the prognosis of length of time out will likely be a little bit shorter than we thought. So once I don't want to ever put put dates on it, it should be closer rather than further away from Christmas. So from that that point of view, that's really positive. Um, other than that, everybody who was involved, uh, Tommy Willard came through fine on. Uh, his his return to the team on Saturday. Um, Theo has trained all week, so yeah, we'll have a couple of more options than we than we had on Saturday. Um, but the group in general look in, in fine fettle. Um, we've got one more training session to go. And we'll we'll go with go with, with what we feel is the best start at eleven. But I'm sure the lads who come off the bench, as they've done so far in the, in the six games we've played, will make a, a serious contribution too. Um, obviously, we've seen um, Jack Bycroft come in. Uh, are you pleased to have got him over the line? Obviously, he had a very good season in Division Below last year, so I'm sure he'll, he'll take this um, kind of month under his wing, won't he, and, and do well? Well, we hope so. I mean, at the end of the day, he's, initially he's come in to cover the period Geordie's um, suspended, um, but he's got the shirt, so it's up to him to, to do the job. And I never judge goalkeepers on their ability. They're all good goalkeepers. It's about the decision-making and their choices during a, during a competitive football match. So... Um, like you said, he had a really, really good uh, spell down in, in Taunton. Um, but listen, the guy's coming from a, a seriously big football club. Not that you think that, but it is. And um, I'm sure he's pre prepared well, um, itching for an opportunity to go and play. We spoke to Southampton about him in the summer, um, and then the Geordie situation came around as on a permanent. So he's somebody I've been well aware of for quite some time. Um, we've we've had we've had enough uh, eyes on him to to feel like he can he could do a good job for us and I'm sure the the, the shots that that see him on Saturday will welcome as warmly as the lads did on Thursday.